And good morning from Sculpture by the Lakes. Um, this is a, a very odd time for us. It's Easter Saturday and we should be really full of people visiting the park, but as you all know, we're in lockdown, so nothing is happening at all and the place is empty. I thought it'd be quite nice just to show you parts of the park and what we're doing at the moment, just to keep it all looking nice for you. Talk about a few of the sculptures and I'll try and do this every couple of days. So we do a little bit different bit of the park and then have a look at other parts as well. So let's start at the beginning. This area here, um, just behind me, is our outdoor cafe area. And uh, we look forward to hopefully in a few weeks time welcoming you all back here. And this is the entrance to the park. Um, the first sculpture you see is a swan by Marc Deirdre, who's a Belgium sculptor um, who I've known for a number of years. And we've recently started having other sculptures into the park. And this is the first. There are several more around the park now and in later videos, I'll show you those as well. To the right of there is the uh, first of the lakes, North Lake, with our Canada geese, which are all, all the geese have arrived now and they're nesting. We've got grey lag geese and Canada geese, uh, grebes, everything, everything is nesting at the moment. And then on the ground here, this is Billy. We've got three muscovy ducks, um, Mr. Duckface, Lavender and Billy. It's called Billy because he hasn't got any friends. It's called Billy No Mates, but he's a, he's a very happy duck and he likes his food. And then this sculpture, this is actually the first sculpture that ever went into um, the park. When we moved here in 2007, this uh, Pallington Lakes was a fishery and we bought it as a fishery. Didn't have any intention really of starting it as a sculpture park when we first moved here. Um, but I had a couple of large sculptures in storage and this was one of them. And I thought, well, rather than paying for storage fees, I'd put it out in the park. And so it was placed here and has been here ever since. After a few months here, I made another large sculpture and put that out in the park as well. And then my wife and I, we, one day we just looked at each other and said, why don't we build a sculpture park? And that was the start of it. And then we first opened in 2011. And it has been growing in popularity and sculptures and everything else ever since then. As we walk down here, this is the, uh, the bridge across to the other gardens and the kitchen garden. Or you can, if you're feeling fit, go down across the stepping stones into the fern garden. The fern garden was actually one of the first places we tackled when we moved here. Um, this was a, a log pile with lots of tarpaulin, bits of caravan, all sorts of rubbish was in here. So we cleared it out. Uh, we put in the stepping stones into this lovely little stream. This stream actually only originates um, about 150 meters up from here and it comes out of a spring in the ground and so all this water about half a million gallons a day just comes out of a hole in the ground and streams through here it's beautiful crystal clear water in the fern garden as well as a few tree ferns uh, we've also got these lovely fritillaries which are looking absolutely splendid at the moment and then this sculpture called Jewel, which is really about the state of conflict and how we're always fighting for our own territory. Coming up through the fern garden, meet Luna. If Luna's ever around when we've got visitors, Luna always likes to bark at people and she's also a little bit snappy, so um, avoid her. She's just a rude Spanish rescue, really, but we love her. And then down through here, there's a lovely little place to sit. Where you can look out across the fern garden, across to the sculptures in the lake, and just have a moment of quiet contemplation. 
then as we come out through the bamboos into the open area we've actually opened this whole area for chickens at the moment normally we, uh, we have the visitors going through here but as we haven't got any we've got the chickens have got the run of the place which makes them very very happy and turning round a sculpture called leaf spirit which I did a couple of years ago um, it was first exhibited at Chelsea Flower Show and is now also a permanent sculpture at Kew Gardens, the Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew. That's it for today's video. Um, I will do more possibly tomorrow or the next day and I'll try and do two or three a week. I'll put them up on YouTube so they're accessible. And I hope you all have a wonderful Easter wherever you are, wherever you're locked down and just stay safe. Thank you.